years ago, Montreal defeated Toronto. It's been a nine-day wait for Winnipeg, Craig. A real contrast in how these two teams get to the second round. I agree with that, too. You're right on the same routine you've had throughout not just the season, but the last seven games, and the intensity's there. Hard to create that intensity in nine days of practice. Comes back to the line, played around for Petrie. His shot scores! Jeff Petrie with a point shot, and the Canadians strike first, three and a half minutes in. So often you say you're not going to beat the goaltender from out high, but the down low battles is something that Montreal can have success with. Look at Petrie take a delay and right on the tape as Kotkaniemi's story continues. There's a definite shot pass there through traffic. Look at that, tape to tape as Kotkaniemi won his battle in the corner, got to the side of the net, and what a way to rattle Hellebuck there. Around it comes, and Gulax ventured down deep, creates a turnover, back onto the stick of Eric Stahl, and Edmondson the shot, kicked out, the Brandon Manitoba native, hands it to Perry in front, scores! Corey Perry setting up Eric Stahl, and it's 2-0 Canadians. Continuation, this line has really started to find some energy and find some chemistry. Nice job of Edmondson setting the pick there, and you can see a bit of a long shift in the defensive zone. Stanley throws the puck away, a little reverse there, and goes after the hit on Perry, but leaves Stahl wide open. So what a difficult start, start for Hellebuck as he misses that pass. How about the depth pass there of Perry? Quarterback set the point. There's Mark Scheifele. Appleton takes the spot in the slot. Kyle Connor down low. Appleton and Gary Price with a stop off Mason Appleton on a nice setup in front. Suzuki unable to knock that down, and Andrew Kopp starts back. Here, Luke Dubois on the move. They have a step on Petrie to the net. One hands out on Terry Price. A play pass to Suzuki. And Lowry breaks that up, and it's a race. And Lowry's got a step. Short-handed break. And Lowry scores. Jets get one back. Adam Lowry short-handed. Times with the young players, they, they won't take the initiative here. Caulfield twice should have maybe shot the puck there. Gustafson a little slow to react as well. Instead of shooting it, he kind of got caught in between. Now he's panicking a little at the end of the long shift. Fatigue there, and how about Adam Lowry showing great hands in alone. So often we say how Carey Price doesn't overreact. That little movement. And we're expecting it to be a physical series. Dealers back to Forbert. His shot knocked out in front. Kyle Connor and a big stop there by Price on the short side with a little room. Watched closely by Kulak. An outlet here for Caulfield who moves it ahead. And now Edmondson up for Suzuki. It's a two on one with Tapoli. Here's Suzuki in. Scores. What a move by Nick Suzuki. And the Canadians lead by two again. It's about Deneau going up against the top lines. Well, here on the change, it's the Suzuki line going up against Shifley. And what happens at the end of it? An offensive zone shift that the Jets are thinking, OK, I'm going to be able to get something going. And instead, an outlet pass. Talk about patience for Suzuki. You know, Forber didn't play a bad play trying to take away any pass, but he let Suzuki walk in, showed amazing patience. Again, without Paul Stasny tonight. Back for Morrissey. Now Wheeler across Shifley. Big stop. Price as he pushed across to Rob Mark Shifley. Price comes sliding across very quickly. Shifley goes down on one knee, gets it about halfway. Winnipeg power play. One shot on the power play, and Pat Kinyemi is back. Blake Wheeler will fire that. And Price able to kick that away. Perry on the scene again as they're into the cycle in the Winnipeg zone. And now Edmondson will fire it high off Hellebuck, who struck that off. Dr. Pullman can't come up with it along the boards. Caulfield has it into the skates of Gustafson and out. And now it's Mason Appleton down that right side. Across, a chance, and Terry Price with a huge stop. Off Matthew Perot. Quickly pass across, a reaching puck, trying to go glove side, and Price. 
Josh Anderson trying to cut in. He can't get the shot off. Following up, Kotkaniemi. He'll play it in front. Byron is stopped by the glove of Connor Hellebuck. Top line trying to go to work here in the Montreal zone. It's Morrissey shooting. Connor in front. And Price got a piece of that. Another big carry Price save. Now Morrissey sidesteps Anderson, walks in and shoots him. That was blocked by Byron. Now knock free. Dubois in front. Forbert scores! Derek Forbert on a feed from Pierre Luc Dubois. He keeps the puck alive. Now you get a curl back and a nice pass. And I think Petrie was more of a screen there for Price. That's good patience by Forbert. Watch, he holds on to it, holds on to it, and makes sure he gets it past the legs of Petrie. Price sliding across, trying to mirror the movement of the Jets defender, and he's unable to see that one. Just over nine minutes remaining in the third of one goal game. Breakaway pass. Shea Weber in. Stopped by Hellebuck. They score on the rebound. And Montreal's restored the two-goal lead behind is the defenseman but that's exactly what happens and then it's Gallagher on the doorstep you can see Hellebuck thought he had it in his pads wasn't able to hold on Weber tried to open up the five hole and get it there he thinks he's got it Gallagher beats the defenseman Pionk to the front of the net and on a fluky penalty against Morrissey one of the key penalty killers it's Weber in tight big save by Hellebuck there's Ehlers back for Shakely Dubois Hooks it back to Wheeler. Here's Pionk. Ehlers sends it across. One timer scores. Kyle Connor. And it's a one goal game. Hold this puck for just a second. That forces Price to look through the traffic in front. Identify, yep, yeah, that's a threat. And then that hard pass to a down low. Connor just perfectly executed. And Connor, as he does, gets the quick release. And man, it's just a half an inch away. That little hesitation by Ehlers to fake the shot and hold Price there on that side. Ehlers wheels his way back into the Montreal zone. Around it comes off Wheeler. And Canadians are going to clear. Evans is going to get down there first. The net is empty. Can he tuck it in? He does. Pays a price, but scores the goal. You have to make, and you can, you know that Shifley's coming back defensively to make a play, but you're in a vulnerable spot at this point, and it's basically over. And he runs through the check of Evans. The Montreal Canadiens post their fourth consecutive win and end up. Four-game Winnipeg playoff winning streak.